Hey everybody, how's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's had a great, wonderful day or having a great, wonderful day. Guess who decided to want to show up and want to be on camera? Of course, <laughs> now look at him. Now he's wanting to be shy. He wants to be in pictures. He wants to be in pictures. Ooh, touch <laughs> that. See if it's still working. No, no. no? Okay. This is why he's standing kind of back. He, yeah. he knows what an electric fence is. Yeah, he only gets about two feet and that's about it. You come up to the fence, he'll stretch. But but anyway, we're getting sidetracked. Today, you know, as you know, we have Steve, the donkey. We've got our chickens running all around out there. And now we've got something else coming to the homestead. Yay! So... <clears throat> six, yeah, six more... Six, yeah. Residents. Yes. So we've had these before. We had them at our other place. And again, before we started clearing this land, we got rid of all our animals so that we could focus on this land. But I'm missing having animals. Oh yeah. For three months, I have been asking Jeff to build something that we need. And he's like, yeah, we'll get to it, we'll get to it. And I know we have a lot going on, but um, so I just called up and I bought some. And so now, now, now we have to. <laughs> now we have to do that. On top of everything else we've got going. Luckily, we already have. What we need. What we need, in a way. For the most part. But I want to make it, of course, better. So, I guess uh, should we introduce our new residents? Residents. Absolutely. Let's do that. Bye, Steve. See you later, Steve. See. Don't give him a treat. <laughs> he doesn't care. He doesn't care. Alright, ready, set, surprise! We got us some more silver fox rabbits. Now this time though, last time we had all the, I guess, regular silver fox, all the, the, the type that were black. Standard. This time we've got two of the blue does, two of the standard black does, and then two black bucks. And, uh... Now, we chose silver fox because their uh, meat-to-bone ratio is quite high. Pretty good. Even though they're not the biggest rabbits, their yeah. meat-to-bone ratio is good. It's just the two of us, and even if we tried to feed it to a rabbit to our kids, they, 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 they probably, just won't. Probably not going to do it. <laughs> We're going to have to sneak it in. <laughs> the, um, they're also very tame. As long as you start handling them young, they're very docile. So the lady we got them from did, a, or I believe, a remarkable job on on raising and breeding them. I mean, she handled them obviously pretty well because they're all really good and docile. Uh, they're good little bunnies. They're good little bunnies. But this is the first time, like I said, we've got this, this blue kind of color. Right, that's so, the blue. This is the blue. Say hi. Say hi. And this is the this just a standard black. Now they have stand up fur, which means it stays up until you flatten it back down. Hi. As they get older, when they're yeah. fully grown, they will get this silver, these silver hairs throughout them, which is where they get their name from. And they're just beautiful. And they're so docile. They're just, they're just great. Now, the last time we had them, we did have what we suspect was a liver problem with two of the moms, two of the does, and all, all the offspring ended up dying. So this time we were really careful. We made sure that we got them from a reputable breeder and the two blues two blue does are related, the two black oh, yeah. does are related, and the two bucks are related. But the bucks and the does are not related at all. And the, the black and the blue does aren't related. So this will give us a good starting point um, for breeding because we don't want to inline breed right now. <laughs> and we may end up getting some more ducks bucks and does later down the line to introduce into this group. She was trying to call you a duck. 
<laughs> you don't look nothing like a duck. Doe, buck, duck. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. sure. Right. So we have our cages from previously when we had our rabbits. We had eight cages. We did not bring four of them to the new to this new homestead with us. We destroyed it. It wasn't. Yeah, they, it was made great, but then it kind of went in disrepair when we abandoned. Not we didn't abandon our property, but we left it there. And it and got. And it was it was a wooden frame, and so it it got weather worn. Yeah, and and that's what happened. A lot of rain got on it. So we what we have left are four cages. Well, we have six bunnies. So we do need to build some more cages, but right now we're going to put them in these. It's going to be temporary and when we get the other cages built, you'll get to see all that. All right. Now, we kind of already know what she is because we know that our two blues are girls. But let's see if we can still figure out on ourselves to hopefully show y'all how to actually sex your bunny. Now, the first time we saw anyone sexing a bunny, it was one of the homestead channels that we we kind of turned to when it's anything about rabbits. One of the very first homesteading channels we started to watch, and they do a lot with rabbits. The first video we ever saw with them was them working with their rabbits, and that's Living Traditions. Kevin and Sarah have been such an inspiration to us. So we want to show you what we learned from them on how to sex a bunny. So when, if you decide you're going to breed bunnies, you will know how, how this works. Ready? You want to be the guinea pig? <laughs> like, no, I'm a guinea rabbit. So go right to her tail. Now kind of flip her, kind of flip her up or flip yep. it. <laughs> Kind of upside down. We, uh, we know she's a girl, so. And what you'll do is right at the base of her tail or top of her tail, don't wiggle her feet, you'll see. There's the no-no spot. There's, it's, it's so hard to see on camera, but there's a little slit there. That means that you're a girl. Let's go put you over here. Go stand over here for a little bit. There you go. And of course, our, that was showing because, you know, we knew that was a girl. So let's, let's try it again. She did mark a couple of these. Okay, so you should be the same thing, right? You should be the same thing. Put you on your back a little bit. Find the little tail. If Jeff can, if Jeff if can I do. Can, if I can figure it out. Okay, how'd you do it? I can't get it done. So you just go right there. Oh, right there, that's right. That, not that part. And so right there you'll see it's like a, a slit. Okay, so that means, yep, you're a girl. Two over here, there you go. I think you are one of the males, because if I remember correctly, the males did seem to be a little bigger. They are a little bigger. So, hi, I'm supposed to be a guy. Let's find out. Look at that face. All right, there's the tail. See if Jeff can do it this time. Hold the tail back. <laughs> Push fingers in there. Ah. Okay, I can't do it <laughs> while I'm holding them upside down. Maybe this is a two person job. So, on the boy, when you push back, you'll see it's it protrudes out. It protrudes and it's, out. It's more of a circle. Circle. That means you're supposed to be a boy. So for the time being, until we get the other cage constructed, and hopefully y'all would like me to take y'all along with how I make a rabbit cage. Not may may not be exactly how you make it, but I'll show you how I make one. So. Oh, and by the way, we're all about six weeks old. Just to let y'all know. Okay, so we've got the two blue sisters in one pen together, the two black in one pen together, and the bucks each have their own pen, even though they're brothers. 
they're not old enough yet to breed, but you definitely want to start having them separated. I am not a rabbit expert. Jeff raised rabbits when he was younger, when we lived in Texas, and we had a couple when we lived in Texas. The most experience I've had with rabbits was when we got our first silver foxes at our last place, and that's when we turned to living traditions and learned so much more from watching them. So if y'all haven't seen their channel, go check them out. They're amazing. Anyway, so Jeff is going to build the new cages so that they all have their own individual cage, which is what you want. We're also building extra cages for as we breed them and a cleaning cage where I can take one out, put it in the uh, empty spot, clean their cage, put them back. And we'll do that probably once a week, maybe. To keep them cool in the summer, silver fox are very susceptible to heat. And here in the Carolinas, it gets hot. And so to help prevent them from getting too hot, we do have them in a spot right now where there's a lot of airflow. We are building them a separate structure where you're putting solar powered fans inside to keep them cool. Their fur's so thick and they're just so susceptible. One thing you can do to help counteract the heat with rabbits is frozen bottles of water. So we have the, the like half gallon jugs that Jeff gets his orange juice in and we've been saving those to put water in. We put them in the freezer and then we put them in with the rabbits because I knew we were getting rabbits <laughs> to help keep them cool. This is this is one way for us to get back into our animal husbandry, which is something that I'm most passionate about. Having to sell all our animals when we came out here just broke my heart. And the only way to keep getting animals is just do it. And then Jeff will have to <laughs> deal with it. He's probably going to get a call next week saying we've got goats. Who knows? All right. I think everybody's kind of unstressing a little bit for my, well, about a 45 minute car ride that it took to get here. Mm -hmm. But right now, just got some little bowls in there, some food and water because, well, obviously the water bottles are back at the other house. Thought Where we I, had rabbits. Thought I had them here. Obviously, don't. But I will be actually putting in, once I get a new, the other new cages set up and then I'm doing a little shelter, I'm going to go with my little water line watering system. That way I just fill up one five gallon bucket and it waters everything at one time. So, and it worked out good the last time we used it. So. Which is another option you can do when I was talking about keeping your rabbits cool. Take one of those frozen jugs of water and put it in that five gallon bucket and it should keep the water pretty cool throughout the day. Oh yeah, that's yeah, another good way to do that. Yep. So. Thank y'all so much for joining us as we fall in love with our new bunnies. New bunnies. And give you a couple of basics on, well, hopefully being able to sex a rabbit and any other little rabbit tips. If you need any of those, of course, definitely put them down below for me so that I can hopefully answer them for you or either find you the answer. Or if you have tips for us, leave those down below. Oh yeah, definitely. By all means, we're, we're always wanting to learn and that's where the fresh ideas come from and they come from you. We really appreciate you following along with us. Y'all have a great and wonderful day. We cannot wait to see you until next time. Y'all be careful now. Later, guys.